innovation, authenticity, and creativity spark up the passion to create visuals that tell compelling stories. With these come the need to keep up with the fast changing times with reliable, compact, and lightweight imaging products that renders superior output. I am Kazuhiro Ozawa, President and CEO of Canon Marketing Philippines Inc. Currently celebrating our 25 years in the Philippines of delighting you, our customers, through these world-class imaging products and services we offer. During challenging times, Canon continues to empower our users and customers by constantly introducing the latest product innovations from cameras, lenses, printers, and accessories to help visual storytellers, image makers, and content creators achieve their professional and personal goals we also noticed a growing demand from the professional market for fast, high performance and compact camera, both for mirrorless full frame and APS-C segment. We are proud to share that Canon is one of the camera brands that has one of the most robust products offering to cater to the professional and content creator market demand. From our crowd favorite, the EOS RP, EOS R, EOS R6, EOS R5, and EOS R3, and newly launched EOS R5C. We also have our compact and content creator's choice cameras, such as the EOS M200, EOS M50 Mark II, PowerShot G7X Mark III, and new concept cameras like PowerShot Peak and Zoom to cater to the exciting new market of visual storytellers and content creators. Today, we will witness in this virtual launch two of the newest models in the EOS R system. Our recent campaign, hashtag create with Canon, using the EOS R7 and EOS R10 inspire the interest in taking photos during the adventure that content creators and Gen Gs live by using these new and powerful mirrorless cameras. I, together with the Canon team, are here to put these models to the test. Get closer with your instinct through the EOS R7 with a new APS-C sensor on the revolutionary RF mount and get telephoto effect while maintaining high resolution. The EOS R7 brings you superior image quality, high resolution, and superb image stabilization 
to capture action in motion up to 30 frames per second. Never compromise performance and innovative imaging features found in the EOS R10 for the Bone Explorer. This is perfect for shooting still images and videos where casual days and nights are transformed into breathtaking 4K movies. As we get closer to the powerful features of these newest EOS R mirrorless cameras, stay tuned to experience diverse professional shooters such as brand ambassadors, professional photographers with rich experience in wedding, sports, wildlife, nature, landscape photography, and comprehensive content creation. Be instantly reliable. Live up to the bone explorer in you. May you be inspired to hashtag create with Canon. CMP, 25 years of delighting communities in the Philippines. Mabu hai tayo! Maganda alao sa iyong lahat. Good afternoon and thank you to all of you joining us today virtually as we unveil our newest flagship APS-C camera, the EOS R7 and R10. Both our new devices can capture exciting adventures and new memories. My name is Benny Yu, the Director and Head of Consumer Imaging and Information Division of Canon Marketing Philippines. Today, we are extremely excited to introduce two new cameras that meet the evolving demand of professionals, serious enthusiasts, and as well as content creators. You might be wondering why Canon executives are wearing different costumes for this virtual launch. It is simply because we want to strongly connect with all of our customers and users by further understanding your needs and camera technologies requirements. Today, I'm going to be your extreme sports and adventure shooter who crave for speed and enjoy limitless performance. In line with this, I'm happy to share with you that the new EOS R7 and R10 is your compact and powerful pack entry point to, your, to the EOS R system. EOS R7 inherited the technologies from EOS R3, make it the most advanced APS-C mirrorless in the EOS R system. Despite its lightweight, and compactness, EOS R7 has a durable magnesium alloy body that is touch and dip resistant. This mirrorless camera also comes with robust in-body image stabilization of up to X stop and shoot up to 30 frames per second. On the other hand, the EOS R10 is a powerful shooter equipped with features such as high-speed continuous shooting at up to 23 frames per second deep learning based subject recognition and tracking abilities and other impressive specification while boosting the lightness body in the EOS R series packed full of powerful photography and videography features that has become standard in this new era it expands possibility for intermediate and advanced photography enthusiasts keen for a more wallet friendly first taste of the EOS R system in Canon Philippines, we are very proud to share to everyone that we offer best-in-class mirrorless full-frame, APS-C, and even DSLR cameras, lenses, and accessories tailor-made to different customers with different needs. We have two banner campaigns this year, Shoot Full-Frame with Canon and Create with Canon. Both campaigns 
aim to empower visual storytellers, image makers, content creators to achieve maximum results when they use different Canon cameras, lenses for their professional work and passion towards creating story that resonates to different audience and segments of the market. As I shared, our team is very excited to introduce our newest APS-C camera to our Filipino image makers and content creators. Thank you very much and stay tuned for the official local price announcement and pre-order details which our team will share later. Once again, on behalf of Canon Philippines, thank you for the trust and the support throughout the years as we also celebrate our 25th anniversary. In the Philippines, this year, we are more than grateful to have you in our growing Canon family. As always, please stay safe and healthy, and let's keep on creating meaningful visual story with Canon. Hello everyone, I'm Jay Virawanto, Product Manager for the Camera Business here at Canon Marketing Philippines. Today, we're excited to launch the most awaited hybrid camera from Canon, the EOS R7 and the EOS R10. This camera is an all-in-one camera that would cater to everyone's needs. Both new EOS R7 and EOS R10 camera is equipped with our advanced RF mount, which means that you can use your existing RF lenses together with this camera. Talk about usability and expansion. I'll be doing a quick rundown on the key features of both the cameras and let's start by discussing the key features of the EOS R7. The EOS R7 is an APS-C RF mount camera that has 32.5 effective megapixel sensor. It's also a fast camera which allows the users to shoot at 15 frames per second using its mechanical shutter and an outstanding 30 frames per second using its electronic shutter. Robber's mode with pre-shooting is also a great feature added in this camera as it would capture raw shots prior to you pressing down on the shutter button while using its FPS feature. With the EOS R7's advanced image sensor, the EOS ITR AFX provides high precision subject detection and tracking, so you are very sure that you can capture fast-paced subjects at a snap. The OVF Simulation View Assist is also a cool feature that this camera has, as it helps you simulate the view through the optical viewfinder so you can see natural look of the shadows and highlights. The EOS R7 has an in-body IS and optical IS, which is up to 8 stops so you don't have to worry about taking blurred photos. This camera is also capable of shooting 4K 60p videos without crop, and 4K 30p fine which is 7K oversampling with crop. Users can also record and shoot Canon Log3 profile so you are sure that you can get those great high quality videos. Going to the body's feature, the EOS R7 has a very angle LCD screen, multi-function hot shoe, and the new quick control dial with multi-controller, which lets you operate the camera using only your one hand. This camera is also equipped with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and it's also live stream ready. This means that you can share your contents online very easily. Moving on to EOS R7's younger brother, the EOS R10. This new EOS camera is a simpler version of the EOS R7. It has most of the good features of its bigger brother, but in a more compact and lighter form factor. The US R10 is also an APS-C RF mount camera that can shoot 24 megapixel photos. The camera has an impressive focusing and tracking features, such as the eye, animal, and vehicle detection autofocus. With its very angle screen, you can shoot from whichever angle you choose, and you can even do burst shots at an impressive point of view. The US R10 is capable of shooting photos at 23 frames per second. As for its video function, the US R10 can shoot 4K 30p without cropping, but it is still capable of shooting 60p with crop. With its lightweight size, the US R10 can be your everyday camera to carry around and shoot any type of photos. And you can also use the new US R camera to record high quality videos and other form of online content. I hope that all those great features of the EOS R7 and the EOS R10 convince you to get your own mirrorless camera. Again, this is JV Ruanto, Product Manager from Canon Marketing Philippines, and thank you. Hello everyone and delightful day to all of you. My name is Andy from Canon Marketing Philippines, and I'm super excited to share with you how one of our local campaign, which we call Create with Canon, resonates to different professional photographers, 
serious content creators, and as well as different image makers in general. Today is a very exciting day for us in Canon Philippines because we will officially unveil our newest APS-C lineup, which is the EOS R7 and R10 created for people who crave for speed and are born explorers. To officially kickstart, we've collaborated with different Canon brand ambassadors, professional photographers, to showcase the real-life shooting experience using the EOS R7 and R10 in different environments, particularly shooting professional sporting events, wedding, nature, avian, landscape, and even general photography and content creation. Name it, and the EOS R7 and R10 got you covered. Sports is a very exciting genre, and today, we are very, very grateful to collaborate with Rio, who is a professional sports photographer. She tested the EOS R7 with various RF telephoto lenses, and you know what? I will let her photos speak for itself. So what are you waiting for? Let's all watch Rio and the EOS R7 in action. I've been in the practice of shooting different sports activities for years now and having fast and reliable camera to capture these blink of an eye action photos is a must. Sports photography are sometimes very tricky. You should know when and where to set the focus and click the shutter button to freeze a moment or capture a dramatic motion. Fast response, shutter timing, and focus accuracy are the things I need. Hi, I'm Rio Deluvio, a photojournalist and sports photographer. And right now, we're currently on the field to check the new EOS R7's performance in shooting sports. Uh, in sports, it is really important to do burst shots since everything moves so quickly, with the help of EOS R7's 30 frames per second, it is now impossible to miss every movement in this field. Every second is vital. Missing a movement or action always makes my heart break. But with my experience with EOS R7, clearly it didn't disappoint me and my work. Since it's sports photography, it involves people, athletes first game. Thus, the tracking of subject features, specifically the people priority, is necessary in this field. I always find this uh, very helpful, especially for a sports photographer like me, because it makes my job easier. EOS R7 makes my job easier. The feature makes things accurate. Even if it's fast-paced, I just use this option and voila! I can capture a specific athlete, say a prominent one, in motion. So in uh, the 32.5 megapixels feature really helps me in cropping or framing my photos. Even say I shot from a far distance, in my experience with EOS R7, cropping a photo has never been an issue since the quality is still there. The quality remains, so super kudos for that Canon. RF lenses work well with EOS R7, especially with the quality as it is very important for quality output for my work. I was able to experience attaching an EF lens with it. And man, I was super amazed of the output. So, story time, it was a football event and EOS R7 as an APS-C or a crop sensor, it adds another reach of your subject. Again, we're talking about excellent quality and excellent performance. I enjoy using the RFS 80-45mm to lens because it's compact and it's lightweight. As a photojournalist, I find this very helpful when I bicycle around the metro looking for human interest stories. This lens attached to EOS R7 brought me back to my childhood memories, the first time I held a digital camera because of its weight. I think this is my new favorite go-to lens and when I'm not doing sports. Overall, EOS R7 is an excellent camera for a sports photographer and photojournalist like me. It is lightweight, 30 FPS feature. The quality that you wanted is there. And most especially, it never disappoints. A 
Again, I'm Rio Deluvio, a photojournalist and sports photographer. Instinct takes us closer with the new Canon EOS R7. See, I told you, the photos Rio was able to capture using the R7 and RF lenses are truly impressive and breathtaking at the same time. Personally, I felt I was inside the court watching the action as it happens. Thank you very much, Ria, for capturing those special moments. Earlier, we witnessed how the EOS R7 performs in an adrenaline-driven shooting environment, like professional sporting events. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, is the EOS R7 also a very good option in shooting wedding, prenup portraits, and other related events? Don't worry, we got you covered. To showcase the EOS R7's full capabilities in shooting wedding and related events, we've collaborated with one of our Canon Crusaders of Light, Kenneth Howe, all the way from Davao City, so he can personally test and experience the EOS R7 together with various RF lenses that works best in shooting wedding events. Ladies and gents, let's all watch this video. It's all about capturing stories right there and then. Stories that will never happen again. As they say, in shooting wedding, every moment counts because it is a once-in-a-lifetime event for the couple you're shooting. Having a light yet fast and accurate gear to shoot these moments is a must. My name is Kenneth Howe. I'm a wedding portrait photographer and the owner of Photographs HD Studio who already experienced, saw, and shot various stories with my Canon camera system. Having a whopping 32.5 megapixel, the largest megapixel as of the moment, for the APS-C sensor in Canon's EOS R system, you have the flexibility to reframe or recompose your shot even in post-production. Moving in low-light places during a wedding or indoor shoot is usual. And holding the camera is the only option for a fast-paced shooting. What matters most is you get sharp images and smooth footage. The EOS R7 hybrid capability can shoot great photos in high frame rates per second. Allowing you to shoot 4K resolution in 24 and 60p, no crap. You can also shoot in Full HD at 120p and even apply a C-Log3 picture profile makes the Canon EOS R7 perfect in capturing every details of a wedding video coverage. The EOS R7 is here to be your partner. A partner that will help you capture the great story you want to tell, anytime, anywhere. My name is Kenneth Howe. I'm a wedding portrait photographer and the owner of Photographs HD Studio. I'm sure you guys will agree with me when I say that those are very beautiful photos captured using the EOS R7 and various RF lenses. Again. Thank you very much, Kenneth, for sharing your time and passion with us. We've witnessed how the EOS R7 shines in shooting both professional sports and wedding events. Now, I'm equally excited to share with everyone the impressive speed and performance of the new EOS R10. To showcase its full capabilities, we've collaborated with Dale Derry, who is also one of our Canon brand ambassador to test the EOS R10 in various shooting environments with fast-moving subjects, from dancing, studio shoots, and even daily content creation. I'm sure all of you are super excited to see the full capabilities of the EOS R10. So what are we waiting for? Let's all watch this video. Hi, I'm Dale Derry. As a professional studio portrait photographer and a photography instructor, a digital camera that's powerful yet easy to use is a must. 
Beginner photographers transitioning to serious photography often enjoy exploring capturing motion. Freezing motion is a combination of good timing and coordination between the photographer and the subject. But in situations where you can't communicate with your moving subject, say in the streets or wildlife, Canon Artens 23 frames per second burst shot and its dual pixel CMOS Autofocus 2, which recognizes moving subjects and assists you in tracking them, ensure that you capture those beautiful split-second scenes. Yeah, ito ang ganda. space nito. If when I edit it, lalaki ang kapa. Para mukhang three. Baka yun. Now, when capturing motion, you may have to give some allowance in framing and then crop the image later on to achieve your desired composition. Canon Artens 24 megapixel sensor gives you some leeway in cropping your images so you maintain great image quality. Many serious photographers also explore shooting with studio lights, whether continuous or flash. When shooting with continuous light sources though, you may be forced to increase your ISO. The good thing is that the Artens Advanced Noise Handling Capability helps keep your images taken under low light conditions as clean as possible. I love that the Canon EOS Arten also ensures that taking photos is convenient for you. Its very angle touchscreen and its light body weight make shooting from different angles comfortable. All these features make the Canon EOS R10 the perfect equipment to help beginner photographers transition seamlessly to serious photography. Okay, ready? Again, I'm Dale Berry, a professional photographer and a photography instructor. You're born to be an explorer with a new Canon EOS R10. The EOS R10 truly is your all-around APS-C camera that meets the evolving demands of professionals and serious content creators. I can't wait for you guys to personally experience it firsthand. Again, thank you very much, Dale, for sharing your time and expertise with us. Today, we've witnessed how the EOS R7 and R10 in action and how versatile these two APS-C camera perform in both demanding and controlled shooting environments. To wrap up the professional tester's experience, we are proud to collaborate again with premier landscape and nature photographer, Canon Crusader Flight, Edwin Martinez, in pushing the limits of the EOS R7 by shooting not just landscape, but as well as one of the hardest subjects to capture, which you guys will see later. I share the same excitement with you guys. So again, let's all watch this video. Being with nature is an experience you cannot miss, a moment worth capturing. It's a once-in-a-lifetime encounter to photograph raw scenes of various species inside their habitat or ecosystem. As a nature and wildlife photographer who photograph these animals and landscapes, accuracy and mobility is what I really need in the field. Hi, I'm Edwin Martinez. I'm a nature and landscape photographer, and we're here in Infanta Quezon photographing various species and testing out the new Canon EOS R7. So the new Canon EOS R7 has a lot of similarity with the R3. The focusing system is one of the things that was patterned after it. And the animal IAF for my kind of photography is really, really magnificent. Uh, it's fast, it's accurate, it even captures the animal even before I see it in the viewfinder. Okay. One of the most difficult part in avian photography is photographing 
mixed flocks or small birds like flycatchers, flower peckers, not only because of their size, but they're quite elusive. They jump from one branch to another. The Canon EOS R7 captured every movement. Okay, um, The pre-focus, if it's enabled, you would see that it follows it even before you half press the shutter. Um, there's two shots that I, I'm really amazed. Okay, So the first shot was with a buzzing flower pecker. I, I shot it with the horizontal lines of the branches. It captured it perfectly. And another one is a Rufus Paradise Flycatcher, about 400 meters. And there was a lot of foliage around it, and it focused immediately. Okay, So I think the R7 strength is the autofocus system. So it is critical in avian photography that the FPS or the frames per second is really fast. Okay, so you have like 20 frames per second for the R5 and the R6. The R7 is the same as the R3. It has the 30 frames per second for the electronic shutter. And that's very important for me. Especially I shoot a lot of handheld. With that, I can choose the right moment. If the bird turns towards you, if the bird turns to the left, open its beak, so or it's flying, 30 FPS is really amazing. What I like about the R7 is the weight, partnered with the 100 to 400, for example, the RF 100 to 400. It's so lightweight. When photographing birds, I like to shoot handheld. Why? Because it adds mobility in my part. When you're inside the forest and slow light, you not only rely on the weight, okay, but also the image stabilization of the camera. So I have one shot of the spotted wood kingfisher. I shot it with an 800 millimeter RF 800 millimeter f11 with a 1.4 extender, okay, and that's about with a 1.6 crop factor. That's about 1,120 millimeter. And the spotted wood kingfisher with a 30 fps, I was able to get really sharp shots more than half of the 30 frames that I was able to capture. So the image stabilization really works, not only with the IBIS, the in-body, but also with the lens. And that's what I like about it. I've tested the R7 with a lot of lenses. So the first was the RF 100 to 400. Everything was fast. The focusing, the image stabilization works. I even put a 1.4 extender. And another thing is the kit lens that comes with it, the 18150. It's so handy. Um, I was able to shoot a lot of landscapes, telephoto landscape using the 18 and 150. I was able to photograph a sea of clouds. The reach of 150 times 1.6 crop factor is enough for me to zoom in on the mountains with the rolling fogs. So if you're starting in wildlife photography and wants to get serious with it, I think the Canon, no, I don't think, but I really recommend that you get the new Canon EOS R7. Not only because it's 32 megapixel, it has a crop ratio of 1.6, so any lens that you add into it, that's 1.6 crop factor. The image stabilization and the AF are outstanding. Again, this is Edwin Martinez, nature and landscape photographer. Instinct takes us closer with the new Canon EOS R7. What a way to end the tester shooting experience. Thank you very much, Edwin, Dale, Kenneth, and Rio for sharing your expertise and time with us. It was always a delight to collaborate with such talented photographers and visual storytellers. Today, we've witnessed the best of three worlds, compactness, speed, and high resolution in a revolutionary APS-C camera, the EOS R7 and R10. Now let's move forward to the moment you guys are all been waiting for. How much will be the EOS R7 and R10, and when will it be available for purchase here in the Philippines? With that, let me transition back to JB for this very, very exciting announcement. So again, my name is Anvi from Canon Marketing Philippines. Together, let's create with Canon. I'm really excited to share that the EOS R7 and EOS R10 is now available for purchase. 
visit your nearest Canon Image Square, concept stores, and authorized Canon dealers to get your own EOS R7 or EOS R10. Delighting you always. Delighting you always.